Next person on call to the stage. He performed with us once. This is his second time performing with us. He's remarkable. He's been doing poetry for years, years, years. And I really want y'all to hear what this guy got to say. He's going to do his thing. He goes by the name of Mark Ross. In the building, put your hands up, Mark Ross. One, two, one, two. Come to the mic, please, please, please. That's one good thing about going on late is that, you know, I get to hear all the poems, but the bad thing is that people try to leave. <laughs> When they called me up and asked me to do three pieces, I didn't want to leave none of my babies out. So I was like, I got 3,003 pieces. The only thing was like, which three I'm going to do. So I like to give my homeboy something new all the time, something I just wrote. So I'm going to mix it up. And I got to give him some, I got to give him some signature pieces too. This is one of my signature pieces, y'all. All right? It's called Born in 65. I'm 44 years old. I don't look like it. Still living. That's what I am, right, y'all? And I've seen a lot in my lifetime. Peace, my men and women. See, I came in swimming on the cries for mama's misty eyes. I rode in the vibes of Malcolm's fist of pride. Riding the wave of changing tide at my torn sister's side. Kicking the rhythm as mommy's march on, blisters cried. Ironic, but I came to be after the long list that died. See, I bopped out the wound, not a movement too soon. Yeah, I was born in 65. When the ink on the civil rights bill was unfulfilled and still so wet And the echoes of the unheard voices of my people Left the fading impression like a silhouette We shall overcome, just don't come over after dark Cause they just murdered Malcolm and mommies in labor with Mark And the streets are bubbling, trembling with troubling waters From the senseless slaughters of our sons and daughters We bleed, but still we heed King's orders Keep the peace, but then Three years later, he's laid to rest. Grandma prayed for the best of the death of a dream. Weighed on the chest in the water holders and shots fired at the watch riot. Couldn't keep pops quiet, cause by now he had acquired an insatiable desire to rise above it all. See, we're a strong people. We left our hurt deep in the church steeple. As the years drowned our tears, gave us a lift and reaffirmed God's gift. That all men truly are created equal, so we moved from platform shoes to Adidas with shell toes. As we brushed the ashy dust of oppression from our elbows, from living in hell holes to stairways to heaven's gates. But did we leave our Negro spirituality on plantations at the headstones of our ancestors' resting place? Just in case you may have forgotten where we evolved from. Then you got a serious, condemned to repeat history problem. See, my fetus felt them torture and beat us. Inhumanely treat us one by one. Strategically remove our civil rights leaders when a crew of hoodsmen murdered a few good men. Schwerter, Cheney, and Goodman. I was upset in my mom's stomach, beginning to show signs of that been here before wisdom. Watching in silence as the nonviolent prophets of social change became morally challenged and emotionally drained, and keeping the peace became harder. Just ask. Bunchy Carter and Cleaver and Newton and Bobby Hutton, Fred Hampton and Mark Clark murdered for embracing a black power button. Say what you will, but 40 years ago, one of them cops would have met Diablo less than a half hour after they showered and wet Diablo. See, I'm from a time when the information highway was a desolate dirt road, when Motown was the only show in town, and every man, woman, and child pulled his workload before they branded us minorities and stranded our priorities for space travel. Years before that little cute Ed Sullivan Michael moonwalk, they bought the moon and tried to overshadow our race battle from Vietnam to is my spirit really free.com. Feel my flow, embrace my pain. Somebody please read my palm. Cause one evening I 